it. And speaking of great shows, in 2003, the Detroit Shock were the best in town. 20 years later, they are back together to celebrate their first WNBA championship. Johnny Kane is hanging out with the champs and uh, joins us now with tonight's Miller Light Report. And Donnie, Johnny, during International Women's Month, the, the timing could not be better. It's perfect, man. It's perfect. Champs are in the house. The thing is crazy. What we're all talking about is how was 2003, 20 years ago? That part is the craziest. And right here, you can see a lot of the fans that are lined up literally out the door to try to get some autographs. Cheryl Ford's in the house, Swin Cash in the house, Ruth Riley, and the rest of the bunch. A little bit later during the telecast, we're going to be heading up to the sweep and interviewing all the ladies that were a part of that championship run. Remember, worst to first, Bill Lambeer is in the house. We just caught up with him a few minutes ago up in the alumni room. But really, an awesome opportunity for everybody to come back two decades later to celebrate what was really an incredible part of women's history. Detroit Shock in 2003 changed the way the game was played. It went from a, a college-style basketball to a professional-style basketball. Very physical, very talented, and uh, take no quarter and compete every minute. So we changed the game forever at that time, and that's what most of our players are very proud of. I love it because, you know, we were the only team in sports history that started from the last team in the league and to win a championship. So I just, I'm just happy that they acknowledged that that was something momentous in the city of Detroit. And it's indicative of who we are, where we are now. We're going to always come back. Resiliency, that's what Detroit is. Don't ever count us out. Yeah, I think, you know, we've been gone from Detroit for a while now, so coming back, you know, the fans that were here and understand who we are appreciate us. Uh, hats off to the Pistons for bringing them all back, but it's more fun to be around all the players and, and watch how they've grown up, their kids and their relationships and all the above. You know, we go, we go away from each other for so long, and now we're back this time. This is a lot of fun. And tonight is sure to be a lot of fun. You know, I've only met Bill Lambeer one time prior, and that was when the Bad Boys were honored a couple years back uh, here at Little Caesars Arena. There's a T-shirt floating around here that says, have you hugged Bill Lambeer yet today? I came close, but I thought, you know what, let's not push it, okay? <laughs> but, but, man, it's also awesome just a small part of it, you know what I mean? Well, no. you know, outside of Detroit, nobody wanted to hug Bill Lambeer. <laughs> so if he's going to get some hugs, it's, it's going to be here, and it'll be here tonight, Johnny. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Uh, Bill Lambeer's teams uh, would go on to win also the 2006 and 2008 title. You throw in the Pistons 2004 championship. Yep. It was a great era of Detroit basketball, Grant. What an outstanding celebration to have the team back, to have Lambeer come back to celebrate with his team. When you talk about as a professional athlete, you, you, you build a bond with your teammates from, because you put in that work from early October or when the season began, the training camp, and you all shoot for the same goal, to win a championship. Now, for those who actually achieve that goal, that bond is forever. The teams that win championships, that bond is forever. They're going to always be linked with one another, and they're going to always have a special relationship that others will not have. And I think that's what this team coming together tonight has. All right, I look forward to a well-deserved celebration for the Detroit Shock.